Here's every book that I checked out last year reviewed in one sentence each, all 52 of them. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sam and I want to make self-growth normal because people shouldn't have to look this information up. It should just be mainstream knowledge. If you agree, then please make sure to smash that like button. Be Obsessed or Be Average by Grant Cardone. This is a volcanic, kaleidoscopic plunge into the good of being obsessed with things that benefit you, and eventually others, despite the judgment of others. You Are a Badass Every Day by Jen Sincero. I had so little to say about this book that I had to listen to the full audio version twice just to review it. Secrets of the Millionaire Mind by T. Harv Ecker. This is a well-known exploration into the differences between the mindsets and operations of rich and poor people that allows you to assess yourself and figure out what you need to change about your thinking and actions in order to start living a richer life. Keep sharp by Sanjay Gupta. This is a compilation of uncannily up-to-date and surprising study conclusions that prove unsurprising data regarding how to condition a healthy brain by one of easily the most reputable neurosurgeons in the US. How to Get and Stay Motivated by Grant Cardone. This is a list of somewhere between 70 and 100 different things you can do to stay motivated that you should absolutely not check out if you're just looking for a sheer motivational book. Blackout by Candace Owens. For the most part, a fairly diligent yet unfortunately indignant commentary on the consequences of democracy on the American black community, but the chapter on socialism was pretty fire. Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone. The most explosive and idiot-proof sales philosophy you could possibly need in the changing market of this day and age. The Secret by Rhonda Byrne. A description of the ancient notion that you have the ability at all times to translate your thoughts into reality. Litter to the brim with cliches and oversimplification. Daring Greatly by Brene Brown, a rather formless tutorial on the benefits of failing due to one's ability to stay courageous in the face of adversity. How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. This is a sheer self-help classic with splendid storytelling and timeless yet so last century examples equipped with the very practice what you preach philosophy required to back up its own claims. Rising Strong by Brene Brown, a change of personal stories that I found disappointing because they were supposed to teach us how to rise strong from tough situations and they, they kind of didn't. You, you gotta admit. How to Avoid a Climate Disaster by Bill Gates. All about Gates's proposed plan to reduce global greenhouse gas emissions from 51 billion tons to zero in a span of 30 years with refreshing insights from a legendary former software programmer and current philanthropist and touches of warm humor included. Think Again by Adam Grant. A tutorial on rethinking for yourself and getting others and eventually groups of others to do the same. Written by someone with 50 years of experience teaching evidence-based management as an organizational psychologist at Wharton. Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey, what we may as well consider the highest quality, most timeless, golden goose memoir of the last several years, no question. Named our number one best book of 2021. The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz. The four things you need to do consistently to be in alignment with, with what's called Toltec wisdom. Vague to those who just don't understand it. And quite frankly, I don't think I fully did. The Gifts of Imperfection by Brene Brown. A way to join a wholehearted revolution that says, my story matters because I matter. The author's most cohesive work yet, with a series of guideposts to sort of lead us to that revolution. The Trillion Dollar Coach by Jonathan Rosenberg and Eric Schmidt. A celebration, dedication to, and in some ways biography, of the most legendary business coach in the history of history, Bill Campbell. Invent and Wander by Jeff Bezos and Walter Isaacson. Every Amazon shareholder letter in full from the first to the latest, and a series of interview excerpts compiled to describe the life and goals of the Amazon founder and former CEO with an introduction by one of the world's greatest biographers. Beyond Order by Jordan Peterson, the best possible sequel, and more to what I felt was an overly religion-based series of 12 life rules, literally called 12 Rules for Life named our number two best book of 2021. Believe It by Jamie Kern Lima. A touching memoir and company history by the founder of IT Cosmetics with an unorthodox approach to the time's beauty standards while dealing with personal struggles. Big Money Energy by Ryan Surhan. All about the confidence that clearly indicates to others that your money is extremely tall with the use of hilarious and somehow relatable personal stories from a big, big, big time real estate agent. Hashtag Max Out Your Life by Ed 
Milet. A brief how-to on making more of your life in every area from friendships to health and vitality, including, but thankfully not limited to, sentimental anecdotes. Made to stick by Chip Heath and Dan Heath. A phenomenal dive into what makes all sticky viral ideas so marketable and what they have in common with a plethora of examples from every industry you have and have not heard of. Beautiful Things by Hunter Biden, a heartwarming and at times very dark and lonely trek through the life and primarily struggles with drug addiction of the son of America's 46th president. Built to Last by Jim Collins. Classic results of a painstaking study into what separates companies who stick around growing for 5 to 15 decades straight from others who don't. With analyses of competitors for comprehensive purposes and beautiful storytelling to back it up. Rejection Proved by Jia Zhang. A very curious man's fun, interesting, and easy to understand understand a take on what can be done about rejection. With tested advice to handling, getting and giving a no, finding upside in not getting what you want, and getting out of your comfort zone without permanently damaging your sense of self. Everybody Lies by Seth Stevens Davidowitz. Statistical analysis to show what our online activity says about our offline selves. That was definitely surprising but not as exciting as I was hoping it would be. The Bomber Mafia by Malcolm Gladwell. This was an unexpected turn in the bibliography of of a gilded journalist with an everything you know is wrong and here's why approach to things, thoroughly discussing the history and beliefs, methods and tactics of American World War II bombers. What Happened to You by Dr. Bruce Perry and Oprah Winfrey. With 60 years of combined experience discussing and researching the effects of and healing processes from lifelong trauma, two people explore shifts in perspective for people who have lived through traumatic experiences. Named our number five best book of 2021. Billie Eilish by Billie Eilish. This is really what sounded like Billie Eilish and her family talking about her life for four hours straight. And I liked some of the stories, but overall it seemed as if very little effort was really put into the whole title. Yearbook by Seth Rogen. With polished, super quirky, exciting, and at times passionate storytelling, a comedian's memoir is written to educate and entertain and, let me tell you, as someone who doesn't hate him but really is not a fan of his work, I did not catch a single dull moment. The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. An observation of quality, abundance-based leadership in the companies of today who win by focusing on customers at all costs, even when there is no clear end in sight of what does and doesn't work. Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson. A wildly amusing personal growth and management classic where a story about change itself takes place in a maze with four different characters searching for cheese the challenges they face, how each one's mindset causes different results along the way, and obviously what it all represents. Courage to Soar by Simone Biles, a memoir of the most prestigious, skilled, young gymnast in the world today, showing how she got to where she is now. And what I liked a lot about it was, was how in so many ways she's just like you and me. The Airbnb story by Lee Gallagher. The very stellar and well put together story of three originally typical, but eventually insanely ambitious, young executives causing controversy, making billions of dollars, and reshaping the hospitality industry, which the author stressed multiple times is just the beginning of the company. Grinding it out by Ray Kroc, a fascinating, inquisitive, and if you ask me, kind of romantically out of focus salesman's memoir and quest to shape McDonald's after its acquisition from, in my opinion, its lazy founders into the greatest monolith in the history of the fast food industry. Trailblazer by Mark Benioff, the autobiography of a CEO and his company Salesforce that disrupted and took over the industry of customer relationship management, CRM is what they call it, software with a maybe much needed commentary on political and social involvement by executives and those of power in the further development of California's big tech prowess. Delivering Happiness by Tony Shea. For some reason, I didn't learn that he died in his home until shortly after I reviewed this book. The same as the last few books. This, this book is essentially the same as the last few books, except basically it's by the Zappos founder with personal insights from unexpected things like climbing Mount Everest, eventually answering questions personally sent to Shea from employees and customers sent via 
letters and email, and a live interview and a Q&A at the end by leadership expert Warren Bennis. The Six Pillars of Self-Esteem by Nathaniel Brandon. This well-known book in its field is about six different things that will skyrocket your self-esteem, with surprisingly personal musings about relationships included. The Culture Map by Aaron Meyer, a guide and walkthrough to the differences between cultures across the world, which is a complicated subject that the author was very well able to cover while coming off as not a offensive, snarky, or ignorant, but rather quite balanced. Bazonomics by Brian Dumain. Quite easily the best book about Amazon out there if you can get past the first few chapters about Jeff Bezos' personal story and how he got to where he is today, just because you could find that easily any day in literally any interview with him on YouTube or something. Winning by Tim Grover and Sherry Wink. This is the most blunt description you may ever find of what it means to win. The mindset, the consequences, the sacrifices, and all. I think I may have enjoyed this even more than his previous book, Relentless, which is a whole mood of its own. <laughs> Named our number four best book of 2021. The High Five Habit by Mel Robb. All about a revolutionary tool that you can use to boost your self-esteem every day, coming from a chirpy, relatable, hilarious, and charming life speaker and coach with the studies and answers to common questions about it to back up its validity. The Third Door by Alex Benayan. A young man's attempt to uncover what makes the most successful people in just about every major field of business successful and valuable insights he gained along where it managed to take him with incredibly vivid and occasionally quite emotional storytelling. An Ugly Truth by Shira Frankel and Cecilia Kang. What came off as a certainly well-documented but biased and maybe failed attempt to hurt Facebook. No Filter by Sarah Fryer, a remarkably colorful biography of Instagram, including backgrounds of its founders and the evolution of its philosophy toward leadership and operations and values by a senior big tech editor at Bloomberg. The Storyteller by Dave Grohl, the highs and lows and mediums of the life of the insightful, wise, and kind of dorky Nirvana and more drummer Dave Grohl, who might I add did a beautiful and splendid job narrating. The Male Brain by Luann Brizendine, a deep diligent dive into the <laughs> Deep diligent dive. We're really, we're really uh, brushing up on our. Uh what's that word? Alliteration. A deep diligent dive into the psychology and behaviors that make up the whole of the unique male reality. What the Dog Saw by Malcolm Gladwell. A slightly disappointing and formless compilation of 19 articles by legendary journalist Malcolm Gladwell, which was, it was good, but it's definitely my new least favorite of his works. Will the Memoir by Will Smith. The detailed, animated, and eye-opening story of famed actor Will Smith's life, family, successes, failures, and experiences in music and acting, named our number three best book of 2021. Skin in the Game by Nassim Taleb. Eccentric former options trader Nassim Taleb's most easy to understand and even motivational in some ways work yet, covering the hidden asymmetries of everyday life. And last but not least, Good to Great by Jim Collins. Without question, one of the most impactful, insightful, and well-written business books of the 21st century. I don't know if this was one sentence each or even reviews, but I tried to, I don't know, I tried to put as much opinion in, uh, into them as I could. Let me know your favorite book that you guys checked out in 2021 in the comments below. There are going to be affiliate links to each of these books in the description if you guys buy anything through those links then I get I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put these affiliate links in actually but there might be affiliate links anyway if you guys buy anything through the links in the description then I get commission which helps me build this channel and keep making these videos I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already because I don't get why people watch this far into my videos and they don't subscribe but if you have subscribed and you want to turn it up just a notch and turn on that notification bell to get a notification whenever I drop new videos that would mean the world to me thank you guys so much for watching I really appreciate it you can find me everywhere and I will see you then.